So there's two ways to solve your way out of any problem, two, uh, two strategies, and I employed both, and both work amazing. And we're talking about any sort of problem, like you need, you know, more money, a project done, uh, better fitness, you know, relationships, whatever it is. The two strategies, uh, one of them is like uh, obsessive, like leave all your life behind and go after this full force strategy. And the second one is, is ba daily balanced habits, uh, the daily habit approach to reaching your goal. So whenever you're facing something that you want to accomplish, and you should always be in one of these, by the way, you should never be in, in a dur mode, you know, like, uh, I don't know what to do. Like, you should always be either in the massive action uh, focused type of approach or in the structured, consistent daily action that could also be massive type of approach. Now, what what is the difference between these two strategies? So, let's start with the obsessive one because that's the way I, I used to do things. Although, um, I do see myself employing this strategy again in the future uh, if, if it's uh, the right circumstances. So, the strategy is simple. You basically align your entire life to the accomplishment and attainment of only one specific goal. Uh, I did that, for example, when I set up my uh, huge lecture, my 500 people lecture uh, back in uh, February. Basically, from morning till night, all I thought about was how do I get this done? How do I get this done? How do I get this done? And I had just one goal in mind, and the methodology, methodology is very simple. You just take massive action, and it's not like it's structured or anything. You just set a goal like okay let's set up this huge lecture nobody knows me I have to start from scratch and you just ask yourself what action can I take right now at this very moment that will move me one step closer and then you take that action and then you ask what's the next action that could take me one step closer and then you take that and then that and then that and it's like action 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 you take that until it's done basically you become Obsessed you become like an animal and that's the way that I used to do it. The problem was it's not very good um, For my uh, mental health to be honest. It's 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 really bad for my mental health It really fucked fucked with my mind when I did that now the The benefits of this are first of all focus. So you gain a massive massive amount of focus because you have literally only one goal in your mind and because you have one goal in your mind uh, you don't deviate from it so this is also the you know obviously the the bad part about it is that you don't pay attention to other stuff in your life because uh, you just obsessively attack this one thing so it, it works it works amazing but again it has certain risk it has certain um, price that you have to pay the price of you know committing to one specific thing and um, the other benefit of this is the fact that you take an obnoxious amount of action towards this area so you build momentum like crazy like what would take me like a week or a month of momentum to build you do that in like a day or two because literally from the moment you wake up until the moment you sleep all you're thinking about is what's the next action I can take? What's the next action I can take? Or the more precise ways to say, what action can I take now? So I did that with the lecture. Again, I did that many times, but this is probably the most clear-cut example of doing this. Um, at, at the beginning, I was like, okay, um, I have 50 fans, so we need to, I need to, to talk to them and ask them to help me. So like, pick up the phone. Hey, can you help me? Awesome, yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring friends, cool, okay. Hey, can you help me? Yeah, sure. Hey, can you help me? Yeah, sure. Hey, can you help me? And then I did that. It took me like two two days. Um, and then I did. I, I was like, okay, I did that. Now, now, what's the next action I can take? What action can I take now? Because I run out of options. And now you have to get creative. I'm like, okay, let's create an event on Facebook. That's the next action. It just makes sense. I did that. And then, okay, let's promote this event. And then I started, you know, sending uh, emails. Okay, that makes sense. And then, okay, let's make a video about it. And then uh, let's start calling new people. 
and then let's uh, start boosting it with ads and and then let's do a lecture every day a small three four hour lecture which actually were like six seven eight hours but like a, a lecture every night and uh, getting new people excited about it and and get them to tell their friends so I, I do the lecture what can I do now okay let's not let the people leave until they uh, invite their friends using my laptop and their Facebook to the event and then I did that and that and that okay and how do I find finance it okay let's call this person let's do this let's do that so it was it's basically you just take the next action and the next action and the next action and the next action and you keep running out of things like you try you try try and then it, it, you know things max out like you use them until they stop working and then you're like okay um, well um, I have to be creative now so you think of better solutions and better solutions and better solutions and again this creativity it comes out of the fact that you don't have any more ideas so you have to be creative and some of these ideas are much better than anything you could have ever thought about for example how could I have ever known that if you do an event and you want to get a ton of people into it the best way you can do it at least from my experience is to just invite get these people to invite as many friends as possible so just open up Facebook and 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 uh, download this uh, plugin to invite friends and literally get them to invite all their friends and then do that again and again and again I did that with 30 40 50 people and I got like holy shit I think it was like eight ten thousand uh, people who said okay I'm going to the event you know obviously uh, only like 500 600 came but that really um, that really depends on it one moment there's a car accident and when there's car accidents then people drive really weird that's the accident by the way um, cool okay so um, let me see awesome okay <laughs> was, there, was, there was a cop there. I was just making sure nobody's uh, <laughs> go, gonna fucking chase me for for filming this for you guys. So that's one way of dealing with things, and I I did it, and it was pretty devastating. Like you're gonna pretty much fuck up your health. Uh, cortisol through the roof. Cortisol is a uh, hormone <clears throat> related to um, stress, and um, you know it's just gonna be in bad shape. But you're gonna get the goal done. It's like an Alexandrian way, like, I don't care what's the goal, I'm gonna fucking attack it, you know, like Attila the fucking Hun or something. Um, now, the other way is the habit approach, is the daily habits approach. So, nowadays, what I do is I look at a goal and I ask myself, what's the daily habits that will make me achieve this goal? So, I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice a bit of time for the sake of taking care of my entire life. So, for example, let's say that right now, in addition to all my goals, I get a, a new goal to um, have a lot more friends. So, my new goal is that I want to have 500 friends. Okay, it sounds cool. 500 friends. And be super popular in my university. You know, let's say I go to university. So the way I would set it up is I'd simply add more workload on a daily basis, on a consistent daily basis by asking, okay, so I want 500 friends, right? Yes. Um, let's say that every new fifth or tenth new person I talk to becomes like, you know, sort of a friend, you know, we'll use a rough definition for a friend. So that means that I have to talk to about 500, let's say even more, let's say one in... Uh, one in 25, you know, it means I have to talk to like 2,500 people. Um, so, what I do then is I divide it. Like, okay, how long do I want this to take? I want this to take a year. And so I need to talk to 2,500 people in one year. A year is 365 days. Let's say I go to university about 300 days. So that means that I will need to talk to 10 new people every day. So I'll simply add a habit. Again, it doesn't change my life. I don't go over-focused on it. I don't change anything. It's, it's, the main thing I want to point out is that it's mechanical. It's not like an emotional thing like, oh my God, I'm going to talk to new people. 
it's it's math. It's just I'm gonna talk to this many people every day, and th- that's it. And it, you don't have to bring the emotion. It doesn't have to be like, "Hello, who are you? It's so good to meet you." No, it's just a mechanical action that will produce result. Why? Because when you apply consistency, the results stack up. And like the popular kids you see at school, the reason they're popular, it isn't because they have amazing charisma. They're popular because they have a habit of meeting and, and getting to know new people all the time. And then a lot of people know them and love them. And that's why they feel really accepted. And when you feel really accepted, you are naturally charismatic. So you look at them and they're charismatic, but they're not, they don't have a lot of friends because they're charismatic. They have a lot of friends because they made the decision to meet a lot of friends. It's just like you see somebody, you know, it's not, I'm not sure it's the best example, but just like you see somebody with swag, you know, like, like you know, money, 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 and I was like really happy and, and it was really, you know, the money swag, like a rapper. Well, the guy doesn't get like that because he doesn't have uh, money because he has this swag. That's not what caused the money. He made a lot of money and you develop a lot of confidence when you make a lot of money, so he has swag. So, uh, so you, you build up the abundance and then you get the abundance in return. So I would, again, set up a habit of approaching and, and meeting. And when I say approaching, I mean like, hey, you know, what's up? Or are you going to this class too? Or hey, oh yeah, that's, you know, that, that guy's looking at the grass. Oh, that's a nice grass, right? Or he's looking at the sky. Oh, you know, I love the sky today. Or if somebody's looking frustrated, what, I'll ask him, why, what, are you uh, also in, uh, in, uh, in that class? Or do you also, like, have a bad day today? Like, I would simply, like, make comments about things that they're looking at. And, you know, like I said, about 1 in 20, 1 in 25 will, you know, likely turn into a good conversation with somebody who's, you know, going to be my, my friend. Um, so if I do like 10 of these every day, that means that in a month I do about 20, 25 if I go 20 days a week, a month. Uh, so that means that I'm going to make uh, about, you know, one, two, three, four, five new friends. So I'm not, again, I might have missed the math, missed a zero or something, but I hope you understand the, the logic behind it. And, um, if I do this habit consistently for something like half a year and I just don't stop doing it, what's going to happen is I'm going to build up a massive, massive wealth of of social network. And I'll have so many friends that, you know, it will be too much. Like I won't, I won't, I won't be able to deal with so many friends and then I'll become popular automatically. So it would take like half a year, maybe a year of patient work. And then again, the obsessive approach, the first approach I told you about, it's more about like, okay, that's the only goal. And then you literally uh, just spend your entire, all day long, like, like, what's the next person I can meet? What's the next, and you're out of school. Like, what's the, what's the next thing I can do? What's the next, okay, I'll send a message to somebody new. I'll, I'll post on the Facebook for the university. I'll do this, I'll do this. So it's like, um, it's, it's, it's obsessive, it's compulsive. And again, there's times for it and there's times not to do it. Most of the time, you shouldn't do it, uh, but it is possible if you want to reach a goal in an extremely short time, in an unbalanced way, that is not sustainable, by the way, but just like achieve a goal and bam, just like create a spike in your success and performance. It's like Black Friday. You know, on Black Friday, uh, everybody's going nuts. I mean, the stores, they're like, sell, 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 sell. Obviously, they don't work like that, you know, the rest of the year because it's not sustainable. But during Black Friday or Christmas, they go crazy. They go absolutely nuts because they want a spike in the production. And the spike is so big, it basically is like the, I think, third of the, a third of the uh, usual business uh, revenue is done on uh, like Christmas or Black Friday. So again, it has its uses in the right moment, in the right time. If you see the right opportunity, yes, put everything on the side and go insane on one thing. The rest of the time, you want to be balanced and take the daily habit approach. How can I achieve this goal in the daily habits? And stop fucking being, you know, killing yourself. Like, oh no, I'm not able to do it, it's so hard. I'm not doing it well, oh no. And just I'm trying to set these high, high, high goals and standards for yourself and killing yourself like oh I'm not able to take this action oh no it's too much willpower no do it easy 
because if you just started easy a year ago, by now you would have already gotten it instead of being like, no, it's supposed to take a month. No, do it the slow way, okay? Slow play it. So you wanna you know, meet, meet a lot of women, don't go into cold approach, like how I'm gonna start cold approaching women, like one, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and basically, you can't even approach because it's so scary. No, start the, the most, ask, ask yourself, what's the most easy, light way of doing this production activity every day and slowly building it up? For example, what can you do? I'm turning on AC. Uh, what can you do? What you can do is, go, let's say, have a goal to every day um, just, you know, ask a woman for the time. Now, I know it sounds stupid, but it means you ask 365 women. You don't think you're going to have chemistry with one of them? You don't think that you ask a woman, a woman and she, you know, she's like, oh, that's the time. And she's like happy and smiling and, and you're like, oh, nice. Uh, and you, just, you just start talking, you know, and, and so ask, you know, five women, ten women the time. Okay, I don't care. But again, the more you do the daily habit, the, the better you get at it, the more comfortable you get, the more energy you can output with the same level of intensity. That's why I can do five videos a day and that's my normal now. And if I want to go to 10, it will be just as challenging as it is to you to go from one to two because you get used to the workload. So you approach just one woman uh, a day and just ask the fucking time, which anybody can do, then uh, you do that and then next thing you know, uh, you, you increase the goal to, I don't know, um, talk to one woman every day or ask 10 women every day what's the time or just make a comment, you know, and start talking to 10 women every day. And that and then you're talking to 3,650 3, women every single year. You don't think something's gonna happen? Take the daily approach. Just write down your goals, break them down into daily actions that you can take. Be patient, you know, they say be patient with the result and be urgent with the actions. So be patient with the results, just chill, because either way, most likely that's the fastest way you're gonna get them anyway and stack up your results slowly and surely. Don't be a hero. And then you're gonna get more confidence, more action, more momentum. You'll feel better about yourself. Everything will keep improving. And that's how you, you get the, high, the hero stuff because you don't jump from zero to hero. You go from zero to one, to two, to three, to four, to five, to six. You basically improve yourself gradually until you feel comfortable being that hero but it's a process, it's not a leap. I hope this video helped you. Um, apply it, it's gonna change your life. This is philosophy that took me years upon years of ups and downs and failures and successes to build hundreds of books and mentors and seminar and courses and again, so much good shit, so much bad shit. Like, I'm, I'm here, I'm giving it to you. I'm telling you the secret, just use the daily habit approach you, you have trouble with it let me know call you know contact me book a call with me i'll help you you know i'll help you do that i'll help you set up your own set of daily goals so that you can achieve your goals and then you talk to me like a month from now you're like wow robbie there's i have amazing progress you talk for me a year you talk to me a year from now you're like oh my god robbie everything i wanted i got and then you talk for, to me like five or ten years from now you're like dude i'm super successful because again that when these increasing wins they affirm your ability to be successful and they also build up abundance you build up more abundance and more abundance instead of just going up down up down up down it's like up 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 and it's slow and but it's steady and it does have spikes sometimes naturally just like my views sometimes have spikes just like my workouts sometimes have spikes so um again use this content widely uh, fucking apply it. Don't just say, oh, this is right. Yeah, you, I agree with you completely. Use it. Because this is the holy grail for me of, you know, the way I do my stuff. And it works. And you can see that it works. And, you know, you don't believe me yet? Fine. Wait another year. Waste another year. 
see me grow, you know, five or ten times more, and then apply it, you know, I'm, I'm going to be here, are you?